Maybe you found yourself in a similar situation. You buy a vehicle, take delivery on a different set of wheels, get them changed out, you're happy with your new car, and then you wonder if you want to go through the hassle of listing, negotiating, and eventually selling and possibly even shipping the original wheels, and you get pennies on the dollar. Or maybe you have a garage man cave with an odd-looking bean table your TA got for you that you've never really liked, and an opportunity presents itself to do something a little more man cavey. Oh, the TA is my task assigner. She gives me things to do. She showed me that earlier picture of a car wheel coffee table to give me ideas, and I said, I think we can do a little better than that. Sounds great. Let's get into it. First, I think I'll need something to stabilize the wheels. If the 80-pound glass tabletop were to roll off and hit the floor, it might be a little inconvenient. I used these wheel chocks. They're heavy duty and hold the wheels securely. Then I used some furniture bumpers between the metal wheels and the glass top. They come in several sizes but I made an educated guess and looked out on the first try with the 14 millimeter. I thought I would go with some LED lighting and settled on these units. For my 22 inch wheels, I bought the 17 inch lighted rings. There are options to only have LEDs on the outside of the rings or on both the inside and the outside, which is what I picked. Since I'm not mounting them on an actual vehicle, the supplied mounting hardware is going to be completely useless. I'll have to come up with something else, like a strip of aluminum I can cut to size and drill holes to mount the rings to the wheels. Yes, I said mount. A little measuring, a little more measuring, some hacksaw, a bit of drilling, and then spray paint should take care of that. Now, I have all the original lug nuts, but no bolts. So I took a lug nut to the helpful hardware store and determined they are metric bolts, M14 with a 1.50 pitch and 45 millimeters long. But the helpful hardware store wants $4.29 for each bolt, so for 24 bolts I'd be into them for over 100 bucks. For bolts? Wow. Apparently metric stands for more money. Instead, I ordered a box of 25 bolts for less than that at the Big River Delivery Company. There are links to the supplies and tools I used for this project in the video description if you want to make a table like this for yourself. If you use my links, it may generate a small commission for me at no extra cost to you, and your support helps making these videos worthwhile. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, please click the button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. It would also help support the channel and make the TA happy. I'm zip tying the top of the lighted ring to my homemade mounting bracket and hopefully my measurements were accurate enough to get the light centered inside the hub. I have connected the lighting system to a small 12 volt rechargeable battery because I don't want to deal with cords running to a wall outlet and I also added an inline switch. The last touch is the glass top also available at Amazon although the TA said I should check with a nearby glass shop to support local businesses so I did that. The local glass shop wanted $1,500. After that, I ordered it online for $300, and the TA was happy with that. And now it's time to enjoy the fruits of my efforts. Feel free to join me. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones.